load shedding is a problem in this country. It's led to an increase in the number of people wanting to live off-grid. It's an alternative lifestyle that appeals to many and is an added buffer against load shedding and unpredictable power cuts due to cable theft or municipal rates issues. This local developer has built housing units that run mainly on solar energy and gas. The solar runs absolutely everything. Um, we have had to make few adjustments, like for instance we have got our geysers are gas, our stoves are gas. The use of renewable energy removes pressure from the national grid and reduces the carbon footprint of an area. The electricity supplied from your solar supplies your house during the daytime, everything in addition to what, need, what needs to be supplied in the daytime gets stored in lithium-ion batteries. On a larger scale, the CSIR, along with the National Energy Development Institute, are working on a project to use solar-powered electricity generation systems to supply continuous energy even when the sun is not shining. It's led them to build a massive solar array model that can be seen from the Info Highway in Pretoria. They're like huge sunflowers that follow the sun and use the energy from it to generate electricity. We call them solar photovoltaic panels. The nice thing about those panels is, as I say, they track the sun like the head of a sunflower, which makes them a lot more efficient than if they are just sitting fixed against a roof. 1,800 photovoltaic panels were used for the project, built over a vast plot of land. CSIR embarked on this project a few years ago to look at the technology itself the types of what we call tracking systems that follow the sun and their efficiency. One of the byproducts of doing this research is that CSIR has also got quite a large supply of electricity coming from those panels, which it can use in running its campus. Up to 4% of the CSIR campus's electricity requirement is supplied by this solar photovoltaic tracking system. That's about enough electricity to power 200 households in middle income areas. Storing the energy for longer term use remains tricky, but several options are still being explored, such as battery technology that can accommodate medium to larger quantities of energy. Nozindombi Mia, SABC News.